A Defenders investigation all new at six. It's the kind of behavior you might expect out of a student, but certainly not a teacher. But tonight our Defenders team learning that every year North Carolina teachers, including here in Charlotte, are investigated for helping students cheat on school tests. Some have even lost their licenses because of it. Nathan Morabito here now with what he's uncovered. Nathan. No cheating. We teach that lesson to our kids, but not all adults can practice what they preach. Yes, even in school. Thankfully, it's not a widespread problem, but every year, according to state records, teachers and proctors are investigated for what's considered improper assistance or improper instruction. Translation? <laughs> cheating. I was astounded. Rhonda Bradley is still in disbelief all these years later. I was angry at the system. Now a homeschool teacher visiting the park with a student of her own. I was angry at the teacher. She recalled the time her daughter's second grade teacher helped her ace a test. She said, my teacher told me which ones were wrong. And I was like, she did. As far-fetched and inappropriate as it sounds, it's still happening today. The state tests children in most grade levels for accountability purposes to make sure we all get an accurate picture of a student's education level and academic growth. But occasionally, those kids need to be retested, not because of their actions, but because of the actions of the adult in the room. It's very rare. Um, but we take it seriously and we act when we need to. This is a list of every teacher or proctor cheating allegation the North Carolina Department of Public Instructions investigated over the last three school years. Most area districts are represented. Charlotte Mecklenburg schools multiple times. In some instances, those investigations resulted in teachers losing their licenses. In others, reprimands. We've seen teachers giving a kid a nudge and saying, we might want to look at number, number eight again, to actually erasing. The state equates these cases to a few bad apples, not a reflection of all 100,000 plus educators in North Carolina. What we have not seen in almost a couple decades in North Carolina is any systemic cheating. CMS alone administers more than 250,000 tests yearly. The district told us severe irregularities receive multiple investigations at the school level, the district level, and then the state level. A spokesperson told us CMS takes the issue seriously and addresses concerns with corrective action. They're not learning anything by that. This teacher sure hopes so. It's totally unfair to the child. The bigger question is why would a teacher help a student cheat on a test? The Department of Public Instruction couldn't tell us why, but the state did say in certain grade levels, teacher and principal salaries and principal bonuses are dependent on the growth of students during testing. Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.